You want to support Roller Martin Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. as Roller Martin Unfiltered by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. And tonight on Showtime is the debut of the documentary 16 Shots. Uh, it is about the death of 17-year-old Laquan McDonald in Chicago, which of course led to massive protests there, as well as the individual conviction of the cop who uh, killed him, who lied about it, but who also killed him. Here's a preview of that documentary. Chicago Police Department averages maybe 30 police shootings a year. I think it's a level of people being desensitized from the violence. When you look at the police reports that were signed off, it's a justified shooting. And if somebody gets near you with an open knife. I'm sorry, but that's a threat. What the local news put out there. An individual with a knife coming at the officer. That is not the story. This boy been shot. And there's a lot of bullet holes in him. I'm just there is a police dash cam video that contradicts the official story. What we saw was, in our opinion, a first degree murder. There's an escalation of involvement from people across the city. Justice for us is Jason Van Dyke being convicted of the murder of Laquan McDonald. He was their son. He was their brother. He was them. Chicago has not had to reckon with what happens when you don't hold folks in law enforcement accountable. Almost overnight, the power and legitimacy of city institutions cratered. There's 86 minutes that are missing. The Laquam case was not a cover-up. It's a story of our racial nightmare in this country. If he is acquitted... All right, again, folks, that documentary airs tonight on Showtime. All right, folks, back to that whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one month. All right, folks, they're back. MarijuanaStock.org has another great investment opportunity. If you were lucky enough to invest in their last crowdfunding campaign, you know they raised a lot of money in just a few months investing in legal marijuana farms. Those initial investors now own shares of a publicly traded company. And, of course, they are very excited by that. Now they have a new investment opportunity that is as good, if not better, than the last. I'm talking about industrial hemp CBD. For those who don't know, the hemp plant is a cousin to marijuana, uh, of course, and then you, it has a higher concentration of CBD, which means hemp CBD gives you all of the medical benefits of marijuana without getting you high. Now, until recently, hemp farming was practically illegal in the U.S. and heavily regulated by the DEA. However, that changed with the 2018 Farm Bill, making it legal to grow hemp CBD in the U.S. and creating one of the largest commodities worldwide. They need land to grow all of the plants, and this makes for an incredible investment opportunity. And that's where our good friends at 420 Real Estate come in. Their business model is simple. They buy land that supports hemp CBD grow operations and lease it to licensed high-paying tenants. That's right, they are hemp CBD landlords, and you can get in on the action. You can invest in this crowdfunding campaign for as little as 200 bucks, up to $10,000. All right, folks, all you got to do is go to MarijuanaStock.org. That's MarijuanaStock.org if you want to get in the game. And if you do so, do it now. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video.